So manual mode, it's all the way back and across to me. Um, so if you want to start off in automatic and then uh, have a go at it, it'll be my guess. But there's a little display there that lets you know. GT Silver Plate 2500 extra. The Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control, including Porsche Talk Vectoring Plus, is 3100. The root bike is what thing. Um, this was, I mean, the 911's got rear seats in, so if you've got small kids, you know, yeah. then they can fit in the back. But when they do get older, then uh, you need a four-seater car. We never had one. You'd, we'd got the KN, which was an SUV, mm. but not everybody wants an SUV. Mm. So the idea of this was that it would tick that box, it would drove like a sports car, mm. but you could get four adults in it. Sorry? Is that, is that point two? I think I'm trying That's to Sport remember. Plus when it changes up in point two, it sinks down in point four. But you can see the gas pedal becomes a lot more responsive now. Halfway down, it will give you 100% available torque. That torque is 700 Newton meters. What's the actual brake course of the engine? 500. 500, yeah. right. So it's, it's similar to that Jag, Jag was that 550? Yeah, 550. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But you do get that surge from this and, that, and in a comfortable way, you know, as well. It's a nice sound from the engine, the exhaust as well. It is, it's got seamless changes, you can just tell by the engine now, it's just changing up, but they're very quick changes. So it'll be more. Yeah, technically it'd be more refined. Yeah. From, a, from a practical point of view, <laughs> it looks, from my rear view, it looks like a 911 rear wing. It's the same. You can see the back shoulder. arch just sticking out, yeah. yeah. But then I'm looking at that back window, which is at such a gentle angle. Yeah. And it's far longer, so it's called. It's called the well, once you get behind the wheel, it kind of just feels like. It shrinks around it. Yeah. You look at it from the outside, it looks a big car, but once you get behind the wheel, you can feel it very sharp, very responsive. <laughs> it would be cheaper to have sensors on the front than it would be to repair. That's <laughs> it would be, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's a bit odd, I think, not having sensors. Quite lively, isn't it? Which is about for a two-ton, 500 yeah. brake horsepower car. 